Hello and welcome to the video. In this video we will talk about the equipment data tool setting up your families. When we're ready to set up our families we have already created a configuration. Again that configuration ties your database to shared parameters. Now you're ready to actually apply those parameters with those values designated by your database to those families. So I'm going to come up here to set up families. First and foremost, it asks me which configuration file do I want to use. In a previous video, we went over how to create this configuration. You can also start from scratch if you want to. Here I'm choosing a test one that I'm using for this video. I could further configure, configure this if I need to. Next, I'm going to click on Next. Here I'm going to add in my families. In this example, I'm going to use two air handling units that I want to apply these family parameters to. Once I have my two selected, I can go ahead and click on Next. After a brief moment, here it's going to actually ask me what the subcategory parameter value is going to be. Again, we already defined what the subcategory parameter value or parameter is called and where it's grabbing that parameter information. This parameter information was already built inside my database. So for this exercise, I'm just going to use my AHU. For my database, you'll see that I have a number of different parameter values to apply. Here I'm just going to select my air handling unit. I can search and I can filter by air terminals, communication devices, data devices, so on and so forth. When I'm done I can click on next. Here it allows me to set up for other parameter values. You'll notice that when I created that configuration earlier, not only am I applying the asset type, but I also decided to add in another parameter for warranty information. In this example, I can actually add in a predefined value if I want to. For this information, asset warranty information, start date, I'm only looking for the applied instance value to my project, so I don't need to define this any further. When I'm done, I can click on Finish and Close. Here, it's now applying those parameters to my family. Depending on the number of families that you have selected, this may take a brief few moments or several minutes. Once it is done, let's go ahead and review. Inside my family, I'm going to come over here to Family Types and take a look at my information. Here, I applied this asset abbreviation. I can also add it in the asset type name and then here, the warranty start date. Again, this is where I can start to define information when I apply this to a project. That concludes how to set up families using your equipment data.